Welcome everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic day. So in this video I have got two Infinite Warfare Nuclears or two Infinite Warfare Deatomizer Strikes to show you. And I achieved both of these within four consecutive gameplays. So roughly within 30 minutes or so I dropped two Nuclears. And the Nuclear watching now is the first one. In the game after this, which I'm not showing, I got killed three off getting a second Nuclear from a guy crouched in a corner behind a doorway with the MV4 Chaos. He shot me in the back. That was pretty frustrating. But I kept going, played another game and I got killed on something like a 16-17 kill streak. Then in my fourth game I dropped another nuclear. So the one you're watching now is highlights only and then the next gameplay I think I get the nuclear in something like just over four minutes. I'm not sure exactly but I show the full game in that one. And getting these two nuclears at this point or this moment in time so far after the launch of Infinite Warfare it just got me thinking a little bit about fate and how funny things are. And it's all linked back to my previous video about how I messed up the nuclear. And then I get two within the space of about 30 minutes. So that, I just want to talk about this story about how I get these. First things first, before anyone leaves a comment, yes I know the first nuclear that you're watching now is quite an easy one. I was fortunate with a lobby I guess. Um, I don't normally get a lot of luck with lobbies. I'm always playing against pretty good players. Lots of people showing the nuclear emblem. And they've obviously done well and got nuclears can certainly play the game. And I think there's actually some of them on the opposing team. But as I built up my score, got closer and closer to the nuclear, a lot of people left. So it turned out there wasn't too many people left in the opposing team. But look at the chaos that's going on here. But yeah, I got a little bit lucky, but I don't think any nuclear is easy. And I want to talk about getting nuclears towards the end of this video. But on to my story. So... I bought the Xbox One X, I was playing World War II on that console and really enjoying the game but I was finding some suspected lag issues or some sort of connection issues with the game and the main reason or main two reasons I jumped back on in Infinite Warfare was one just to check there was no issues with my internet, I wanted to make sure that Infinite Warfare run fine. I knew at the end or the last time I played the game it was running fine, it had been optimised and so on. And the other thing was just to see how it looked with the improved resolution on the Xbox One X. So within about an hour and a half, I think it was, of playing Infinite Warfare, I got a brutal medal. And I hadn't played that game in months and months, and the video's up on my channel. And it just got me thinking, if I had been using a nuclear gun, I would have got a nuclear or a deatomizer strike. Now, I actually really had a blast trying to go for the atomizer strikes on Infinite Warfare when it was the main Call of Duty or the latest one out at the time. I played it on PS4 and I got six nuclears I believe on that game and they're up on my channel to see. And getting back into this, getting a brutal, it made me get that feel again inside. I just thought I really have to try and go and get some nuclears in this game again. So on my Xbox account, I was level 55, but I don't think I'd played it that much. I think maybe with like double XP and so on, I'd leveled up quite a lot. I didn't have any nuclear guns. Uh, There's so many guns out and stuff I just didn't have. Didn't have a lot on this account. So I built up my salvage and bought the MV4 Fallout. You can see me using that now. And I just thought it would be fun to try and go and get some nuclears. And that's what I did. I came incredibly, incredibly close so many times. As I say, I even got the Brutal Medal previously, but I wasn't using a gun which had the nuclear perk. And it's just an interesting story. It's about fate. I mean, it, when I was getting the nuclears on the PS4 so many months ago, I stopped at 6 and just thought, I'm not going to try anymore. I've got 6, that's enough. I really enjoy them, but I'm going to try out some other things, try other guns in the game all that sort of thing and it just shows you with fate how a little thing like some suspected connection issues with World War 2 made me jump back in the older game. It was like almost putting on an old pair of gloves that you're really familiar with. Just enjoyed it, just got that little feeling inside, wanted to go for nuclears again and hey presto within 30 minutes I managed to get two. So I was pretty pleased with that. I know the first one as I said was quite easy but no nuclear is easy in my mind. That's what I would like to talk a little bit about now. 
And the other thing is I wanted to get them on the Xbox uh, as well as having them on the PS4. I believe I did something similar with Black Ops 3. If you look back on my channel, I'm sure I went for... Uh, was it, I can't remember what, was it the 30 kill streak you got in that game? But I think I wanted to do it in both PS4 and Xbox One. And I think I also got the, was it called the Nuked Out, where you got a 30 kill streak in free for all mode? I can't remember. But I did some of those sort of things both on PS4 and Xbox as well in that game. But yeah, let's talk about nuclear. So I've pointed out the first one was easy and this second one was slightly harder, but I wouldn't say it's the most difficult nuclear I got out of all of them that I've got. But yeah, if you're going to get a nuclear in this game, I still think you've done pretty well regardless of the opponents. Uh, you've got to keep your nerve. There's so many things that can go wrong. Uh, just a second of lag from a person who, who is laggy and jumping about in the stream, on the screen, sorry, that can ruin it for you. I've had so many things that people are using the striker rig and the micro turret, so I've been on like one or two off and then boom, that thing kills you. I've had people using the FTL rig and maybe got the advantage of them in a gunfight, but they use the, the ability where they can like jump forward and then they're suddenly behind you and shooting in the back. So many things can go wrong. So a lot of people running around at the moment with what I think are dual shotguns. That's robbed me from getting a nuclear on the Xbox a few times. Black, is it the black hole grenade? I don't know what its name is in Infinite Warfare. But that thing that sort of creates a black hole sucks you in. That thing stopped me getting a nuclear in the last week or so that I tried. Uh, so many things. Vultures, Wardens. Just entering a room, turning a corner, someone comes around with a really fast firing submachine gun. For example, is it the ERAD or the is it the FHR? I'm forgetting some of the gun names because it's although I've been playing for a few days over the last few weeks, I can't remember all the gun names. Infinite Warfare came out quite a while ago now, but but yes, yeah, so many things can stop you getting a nuclear in this game. And I think it's quite a demonstration of skill if you can get them. Um, it's a demonstration of being able to concentrate and also I guess you need a little bit of luck like there. I needed some skill and some luck to come out of that gunfight alive. So a lot of things needs to go in your favour but also you need to demonstrate some skill and think well and play well at the same time. So I don't feel too bad about getting a, an easy-ish nuclear because as I say I don't think any of them are a walk in the park. Getting 25 kills in a row in this game with the thruster movement, the speed of the game and so on, you're doing pretty well I would say. So that's sort of the story of how I got these two nuclears within about 30 minutes this far into the launch of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. And I'm also going to discuss very briefly, I'll pop up on the screen, I'll also show this at the end of the video, you can pause it now if you want, but have a look at my medals so far on Xbox One and I would say most of these from like the merciless upwards have been in the last while that I've been playing the game, the last few weeks. Because initially, as I say, when I was playing it on Xbox One, I didn't really go for nuclear. I played the bulk of my Infinite Warfare career or playing career, if you like, on PS4. So if you have a look at this, we're discussing how hard nuclear can be. If you look there, you will see I've got the Relentless Medal 12 times. And I would say most of those have been in the last week or two that I've been playing Infinite Warfare. So of those, only three times have I managed to get the Brutal. One of them, as I say, was without the nuclear gun. The other two are the two gameplays you're watching in this video. But the other nine times, I have died on either 21, 22, 23 or 24 kills. So that's how hard nuclears can be. That's how hard the atomizer strikes can be. And I guess they could actually be quite stressful to some people. If you suffer from getting annoyed at a game or find it really taxing to die one off a nuclear, they can be quite stressful. So although I personally find them fun, I do understand the frustration and have experienced the frustration of getting killed like one or two or three off the nuclear, especially when you do something stupid or just lose your concentration. But here we go, we're almost on the second nuclear. There we are, we've got it. 
So I'll just let the rest of this video play out. You can witness the thing coming down from the heavens above. But I hope you've enjoyed this little story and two nuclear gameplays. Have you got a nuclear? Do you enjoy going from them? Have you got a deatomizer strike? Whichever Call of Duty game, let me know in the comments section. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon for another video. Thank you.